Hello today. And today we're going to have a game of Catalypse. I'll repeat that. Catalypse. I think I was right the first time. Catalypse. I might as well say it again. And this is on the Commodore 64. And this is a game request by Ashley Farnham. Right. Okay. There's a lot of loading in this game. It's it's a disc image. And I think that's only a disc image. Oh, what's going on? Right. No, 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 no. We don't cheat on this channel. Right. There's a lot, as I said, right. Okay. Um, music by Michael Someone Foreign. Not a problem. Okay. So F1 guns on. Guns on. Guns off. Guns off. F3. What's that do? Field 2. Field 3. Field 1. I'll keep it on field 1. Come out in 92 by Genius. Is that French? Is that a French outfit? Or is it Spanish? I don't know. Late in the Commodore 64's um, run. We've been 10 years old at this point. Um, what an incredible run the Commodore 64 had. Um, actually that went for a Spectrum and a CPC as well actually. I know that the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum was out two years earlier than the CPC. But they still had a good run. Right, okay, well let's play the game. Go! Level, ah oh, for fuck's sake, more loading but we can speed that up. Power of emulation. There we go. Push fire to start, and off we go. And I mention it's a shoot. Go, you can fucking see that, can't you? Oh, oh. So you can hold your fire button down, and you've got auto fire, or rapid fire, whatever you want to call it. Oh, can't get, oh, can I crash into there? I'm too scared to, to crash into there. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, once you lose a life, you just carry on. That's good. That's always a bonus thing, but I think you lose it. Did I lose my power-ups? I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I think you might lose a, because I'm sorry I had some spinny things like r type. Right, good luck. What the fuck are those? They look like wizard's hats. That's all you need. Oh, fuck off. Restart. Oh, that's good. At least I don't have to load up the fucking thing all over again. Right, here we go. Now we've got... Not so, not hard oh, time. So, I meant Sarbanoid. With all this shit going around. What was it? Oh, I don't know. Was it both? I had played both of them back in the day, so I fucking should remember. So we've got some nice, colourful graphics. Well, oh, watch this fucking thing. Oh! Oh, that was fucked off. Good. I don't have to deal with that. So there's plenty of power-ups on offer here. Some of these fucking things take... Oh yeah, I do lose some power-ups. When I lose a life, but I like the fact that you don't get sent back anywhere. You know, that always gets a bonus point for me. When you don't have to get sent back anywhere. Especially if you re have to redo the first level or the level all over again, so... Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking hell. So you've got to look right up there in the corner to see your status. Oh, bollocks. I think you get more than three lives. But I can't see... But I think that's on zero now, so... This is my last life. Oh, 
Oh! But then again, some of those power-ups might be extra lives. Oh, come on, how was I supposed to get past that? Yeah, and I like the fact that you don't have to load it all up again. So if you're happy to have another go, then just continue. It's a little bit on the tough side, not overly stupidly tough, but a little bit tough for a first level. Right, so two lives left, I'm taking that. And some of these do require a few hits on the enemies to dispatch them. And I don't like that, why can't it just be one hit, like the fucking fact that I have to take one hit till I die. It should be one hit for one hit, unless it's like a, a big shit where I can understand then I have to take a few more hits to destroy it. Yeah, totally understand, but if it's a small shit, and they take one hit, oh there's a power up, I fucking missed it. Yeah, I think these fucking things take more than one hit. No, these take one hit. So, get... I'll follow some more! See, right from there, they take a couple of hits. I mean, it's... I mean, it's coded pretty well. Moves around quite nicely. See, I understand that big shift taking a few. Now I don't know what I'm, that gun on and off means. Is that um, auto fire? I wonder. So I don't particularly want to load it all back up again. No, I don't get smart weapons because the weapons, your power ups activate automatically. That. Oh, oh, that's better. Now, oh, we still can't fucking destroy those things, though. Even though you take still hits, you know, even on a powerful weapon. Oh! I think there's improvements that could have, could have made. But it's not bad, it's not bad. I've played tougher. I would have persevered back in the day playing this if I owned it. 1992, I would have owned a Commodore 64 at that time. Yes, you heard me correctly, 1992, I still own the Commodore 64. It was the same year I bought a uh, Commodore Amiga 500. Well, that was around about, just before Christmas I bought that. December, I think I bought that. Why did I miss that? Was that a power up I just missed? See, why did I have to take multiple hits? Oh, see, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, hang on. So it's instant load. Wait, well, ain't laughing, it's still loaded. Right, push for that. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Yeah! 
you typed your name in. Oh, I'm top of the leaderboard. Oh, look, no one else has scored. Oh, well. Alright, so let's see. I'm not going to end this yet. I want to see what that gun off. Let's put it on two. So, oh, look at that. Oh no, it's, uh, but it's only a little load. That's fair enough. Let's just have one more go. So I don't understand what the difference is with that gun on or off. Because I'm holding down fire buttons still and it's doing exactly the same thing. Is there any difference from the fields? I think so. Yeah, there is. Oh, if I would have known that, you didn't have to keep loading up. I would have done it sooner. Oh, well, we know that. You will know if you want to play it yourself. You will know. See, I review these games, so... <laughs> so basically, I, I can tell you if it's a loading or a lot of loading or... You know. So it takes the pain away from you if you want to play it. So you know exactly what's going to happen. You know, you can just go back to the menu and it won't take very long. If you're using emulation, you can just speed it up anyway. But if you like a, if you like a, cha a challenge, a shooting up with a bit of a challenge, then not too hard, not too stupid. I would say give it a go. Oh! What happened? Oh, anyway, we won't play anymore. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's not over. It's not over the top. Stupidly hard. It's a little bit on the tough side. I'd like. Like it to be a little bit easier to start with, then progress being a little, you know, harder and harder as games should be. But it's not a bad one. Nice graphics, nice sounds, nice music. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.